Could you talk a little bit about the impact that self acceptance has on your vibrational experience? I've, I've had the realization recently of um, increased self acceptance. Um, well, it wouldn't have to be self acceptance, it's just acceptance. Mm -hmm. it, it, it wouldn't have to be self allowance, it's just allowance. But the reason that you're highlighting this in this way is because awareness of self is something that's on people's mind a lot. Mm -hmm. So it is something that most people use as a reason to not allow alignment with that broader perspective. It's this, it's a subject that the word worthiness enters into. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's really interesting about that is that the reason that so many people don't accept the rightness of their being or the perfection of their being and therefore don't allow the manifestation of the things that they want is because they're so busy looking at what is and recognizing how many things they want that they don't have and then using the absence of what they want as the substance of so much that they think about mm -hmm. so it's a vicious cycle they notice what they don't have and in noticing what they don't have they don't allow it and then they conclude that they are inappropriate or unworthy because they don't have what they're depriving themselves of having it, it, isn't it interesting when you look at it that way and it's because they're trying to mix two two um, philosophies that don't mix that the thing that that get so many people out of whack and we've touched on it in two or three discussions already here today is that and you can't have it both ways you've got to decide that you are the creator of your reality or that someone else is right. you can't have it both ways and even in the discussions that we've had today it's obvious that a whole lot of people keep thinking that something outside of them is still bestowing the the goodness to them mm -hmm. when it's 100 the, which is true in this sense goodness is flowing to you but your receiving of it or not receiving of it is totally self-inflicted or self-induced or self-allowed or self-denied mm -hmm. and so you, in order to have a discussion about self alignment or self allowing or or worthiness you first have to begin by acknowledging I'm doing it all I'm doing it all I'm denying it or allowing it but there's not something outside of me that is making that judgment and and preventing me from the benefit so the subject of worthiness we hear your timer the subject of worthiness implies that there is an arbitrator outside of you evaluating your behavior performance and beingness and then and then giving the the mark the passing or failing grade about about your deservability of whatever it is you're reaching for and it's just not that way right and I kind of internalized that over the years um, internalized I, it let's say it nothing, a different, let's say it a different way I practiced it I practiced noticing right. I practiced noticing that stuff I wanted wasn't coming and then attributed it to someone else's evaluation and therefore withholding of love and blessings to me right and now is it shocking or relieving to realize you were doing it all to yourself it's a relief yes very empowering so now so now so what what were the words that you were reaching for that we moved them to worthiness but what is the self what um, acceptance self acceptance so no self judgment and perfectionism and so in the easy way of answering it when you're in the vortex it's it, it's not just acceptance mm -hmm. self-acceptance sounds like self-tolerance it sounds like I accept yeah. myself as bad as I even though I'm bad I, I accept right. it. it it's self-love 
but, but, you know, but let's take the self out of it it's love it's the ability right. to focus myself into love and the only reason that we're having a conversation about self is because self is somebody that you think about way too much right. yeah well I was using that as it, it, it was kind of surprising but that was what was keeping me out of the vortex say more self um, I, I was being really tough on myself and I remember talking to you years ago about how what's the best way of doing something you know what's the best way of getting in the vortex what's the best way of feeling um, a connection to you know my higher self and it, it's just um, it, it, again I had really practiced this um, per perspective uh, well you know what's at the heart of that when you say what's the best way what's the best way always implies that there are a bunch of people watching me and everyone else and evaluating yeah. who's got the best way mm -hmm. or the worst way of doing everything right. and that's why we never miss the opportunity to say let's leave the peanut gallery out of it mm -hmm. because what they think of you is way 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 not any of your business and if you could if you could stop trying to see yourself through the eyes of others and let it all be about how it feels then this would clear up easily right it's like this so here you are a perceiver and 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 this is perception this is eyes ears this is perception so you're a perceiver and as you perceive that through the eyes of source you adore it as you perceive that through the eyes of source you adore it because when you're in sync with that which is source whatever you are looking at you are finding its positive aspects you are finding its cooperative components you are loving it so when you are in the vortex tuned into who you are and turning your attention on yourself you adore it mm -hmm. you because and so it's not self-love that we're wanting to guide you to mm -hmm. it's alignment with love that no matter where you shine it so we're approaching this you were approaching mm -hmm. this backwards because what most people mean by love is oh that's lovable oh that's lovable oh that's not lovable and we say whether it's lovable or not is irrelevant when you are love right because when you are love you love unconditionally when you are love you've practiced the vibration of love so only that which matches it is is in your vibration and so in the early days we used to say to people it's easy for you to love that and it's easy for you to love that and that and that you love the cat you love the sky you love the clouds you love the Sun you love the moon you love this you love that you love this you love that so focus on all that stuff you love till you get love 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 activated in your vibration it was before we were talking about vortex mm -hmm. love 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 and then once you're really really solid in the vibration of love then turn it around at yourself right and I think and there's a pretty good chance you'll love for a minute yourself I did and that surprised me the the impact of doing that one thing having it one one really intense time it's like my um, my vibrational footprint just grew um, and I, I felt bigger physically uh, vibrationally I mean and so I, I was really surprised by that and I thought well, well in that moment but you see the thing that we want to say to you is that you weren't permanently changed you just found a moment when you weren't resisting and mm -hmm. in not resisting and focusing on yourself you felt love but mm -hmm. but what we really want to say to you is we don't care if you ever love you or not we just want you to love and and if it's hard for you to love you then think of other things right. because loving and eventually is what we said earlier and then we'll take segment of refreshment so you've got this person that you know that's just bothered the life right out of you literally it just takes you to your knees every time you think of this person so you don't think of that person because you don't want to be taken to your knees so you practice thinking about things that feel good and you feel good and you think about things that feel good and you feel good and you think about things that feel good until you've practiced yourself in this vibration and eventually it's not possible for you to think about that person in a way that takes you out of the vortex because it's just not in your vibrational patterning anymore mm -hmm. so whether it's another person or whether it's you it's the same process in other words just just practice love practice alignment practice feeling good until that's just your ammo 
and once and once that's who you are then you'll find that not only can you love this and that and this and that and this and that but you'll find the best in everything mm -hmm. and that's what we call seeing the world through the eyes of source Good. thank you good time for a segment of the